Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will explain uh, all about GitHub Copilot and uh, basically what you can do with GitHub Copilot and why is it better than Chat GPT. So right now, this is basically how the GitHub Copilot uh, looks like. Uh, so it is, it has like a coding, um, you know, user interface. Obviously, for those of you who are, uh, you know, tech savvy, for those of you that know how to code, uh, basically GitHub Copilot uses the OpenAI codex or algorithms to suggest code and entire functions in real time, right from your editor. So this is basically how it looks like, right? So it's trained on billions of lines of code and GitHub Copilot turns net natural language prompts into coding suggestions across dozens of languages. Now, this is basically, um, you know, the pricing for GitHub Pilot. Obviously, it's $10 per month. If you want, uh, you know, all of this, you can also start a free trial as well, uh, which is great. So uh, obviously, you know, GitHub Copilot is aimed at focusing and solving bigger problems in the code. So again, spend less time creating boilerplate and repetitive code patterns and more time on what matters, building great software, write a comment describing the logic you want and GitHub Copilot will immediately suggest code to implement this solution. Hence why GitHub Copilot you know, has the name Copilot because it helps you with the code and it suggests code based uh, on your, uh, you know, on your input. So for example, as you can see this code right here, if you put that code, you can click on the Copilot and then it will pretty much give you a suggestions right here on the code. So you can get AI based su suggestions just for you. It recommends based on the project's context and style conventions, you can quickly cycle through the lines of code and complete function suggestions. So what does that mean and how can you actually go and implement this in programming? Well, if you're building a software as a service pro a product or if you're building a app or something online, then uh, this is a great tool because it will save you a lot of time on writing extra code that you would know how to write, but you just don't want to write it because it will, you know, you will have to write thousand lines of code. So that's why, you know, you can basically go and uh, again, as well, it integrates directly into your editor, uh, Visual Studio, NeoVim, uh, VS Code, JetBrain IDEs, as well as you know other um, you know other favorite uh, editors for coding. Now, as you can see, uh, there's 74% focus on more satisfying work, 88% feel more productive, and 96% are faster with repetitive tasks. Overall, this is a great tool, but again, it is for narrow public. It's not really for general public, as most public and most people don't know how to code. So this is again for those that want to go and that want to basically improve. Uh, you know, their process of coding and their process of building apps much, much uh, more faster. As you can see right here, what is GitHub Copilot is an AI pair programmer that helps you write code faster and with less work. Now also right here, as you can see, pair programming is an extreme programming technique where two developers work together on one computer. So this is what uh, basically GitHub Copilot is all about because it gives you the ability to have another programmer, which is an AI, it's not really a human, that helps you along with any tasks uh, you want. So overall, is it worth it? Is it better than ChatGPT? I would say in terms of coding, yes, it's definitely better than ChatGPT, but uh, there must be some improvements overall when it comes to uh, GitHub Copilot, because sometimes, uh, you know, the GitHub Copilot, um, you know, does not know how to or what code to put where. So that's why, uh, you know, it's not yet uh, fully ready, I would say, but it is definitely on the way to be fully ready for being a better than ChatGPT. Overall, ChatGPT is better when it comes to, you know, general public and general things. So I would say that uh, it's not really great to compare those two right now. So that's my opinion on this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and we will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.